guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl jenny sims and today i have a slightly different video for you guys so unlike what i normally post today our video is all about editing as the title suggests today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very cool nice sexy not too much kind of like intro for your youtube channel so if you're a beginner and you just want to have this cool nice intro just like mine what you saw before this video actually started then keep on watching and also i know that this might not be like the professional level but this is just to help small youtubers out there so if you know you're interested in learning this then keep on watching and also while you're at it don't forget to give me a thumbs up like this video comment share and subscribe to my channel okay so without further ado let's just get straight into it so the first thing i'll do is go straight to the app that i'll be using to um edit so first of all i like to go into eraser because i feel like that's the first thing that you need to do before you start you need to crop out the pictures that you want to use for this very very um intro so i'll be going to eraser app here and once the app is open you're going to be seeing the picture sign right on the top left hand side so you click on that part and here is just going to take it to your gallery where you see all your photos your favorites your recent you're just going to pick the picture that you feel like you want to use for this project so i'm just going to go straight into it and choose as or select the pictures that i want to use so um i already have mine so i'm just going to randomly pick out maybe two or three pictures that i want to use for this it depends on how many layouts or how many pictures you want to be on your screen so let's just use this um let me see so i'm just going to use the same thing i use for my page or maybe something different so or maybe something the same or similar okay let me just use the same thing so i'm just going to use this picture right here and then you see this is a picture i want to use i don't know why but i just feel like it looks more like present it's very clear vivid and all of that so you're just going to click on erase and it's just going to come here so look on the bars on um below your screen you're going to see the road erase restore target area target color reverse you want to click target area so when you click on target area click on the path that you don't want to erase like the wall the surrounding of my picture just click on it so you just click on it and you're going to see automatically it's going to erase your surrounding and it's going to leave you your your actual face or your person or yourself because it's targeting the area that is blank and not you so you have to be careful about this and make sure that you don't you see once you're not careful about this if you keep tapping it it's going to keep erasing your your actual portrait that you want to use so be be sure not to erase your picture if you understand what i'm trying to say so i'm going to, going to undo that and then i'm going to go to erase this bar here says erase so i'm just going to use it to clean off this picture because the target is actually taking more than i want so i'm just going to use it to clean it off i bear with me guys i'm not going to do this as clean as possible because i already have this so i'm not just going to concentrate and do this as clean as possible but i'm just doing this to illustrate and show you guys how you can do yours but if you're doing yours make sure to take your time don't rush it take your time and clean it off so neatly you understand so you don't make any mistakes So I'm just going to click done and once I've clicked done there's something I like to do before I actually export the picture and is I like to go to my the adjustments um, bar there and I just click on smooth and I get my smooth to like one just one and it's going to trim the edges for you you see so before it was rough now it's smooth smoother and it's going to actually make everything look more realistic and very fine and kind of like perfect so you save that and then you can go to like sometimes i always like to go to saturation i increase my saturation just to make it more vivid make it pop more i increase the saturation you know i mean or sometimes you can go to highlight and highlight it some more just play around with it when you have your picture the way you want it just export it and voila okay png set transparent max and save it so 
that's how you save it to your album and i'm not going to do the whole three because i already have pictures i want to use but he, this is the process that you need to do to all the pictures that you want to use for that very particular intro so you have like three or four whatever you need how many you need i don't know but i already have pictures so i'm going to use that now we're going to go into the next app which is fonto this is actually one of my best apps like this app can never be like underrated like i feel like this app is just very necessary no matter what you're doing in this life <laughs> as far as it has to do with editing so click on the camera sign right here and you go to plain images and it's just going to give you like you can click on any box actually it doesn't really matter you can still change the color so you click on that statistics right up there and it's going to show you um all these bars so we just want to go to the iphone 8 plus sign and click on the one that is is it vertical or horizontal i don't know my mathematics or whatever so click on that one and you change the color if you want to use black fine do you if you want pink if you want white whichever color you want to do fine but i used this color for my own and i kind of like played around with it a little bit just to make it look more you know kind of like the tone i want and then once you're done with that next thing to do is just use and save okay now this is the box that we're going to be using so now add our channel name so whatever your channel name is tap on this box it's going to show you this add text sign click on it and then write your channel name my channel name is jenny Sims. okay so this is my channel name and this is the font that i'm using i use blackouts blackout sunrise that's the font i use but you can always change it whichever fonts you want you can use it but this is the one i actually like to use so that's what i'm using here and okay just position it to be sure that you have this directly in the center just go to move here click on the layout and look for the abc that is in the center which is the second that's the second one from the top click on it and you see it's always going to position your channel name for you in the center so you don't need to worry whether it's crooked or bent or anything it's already in the center the way it's meant to be so next thing we're going to do is we are going to maybe like kind of like play around with this text you can actually put some strokes in it whichever anything you want to do you can put some strokes you can you can change the color you know whatever you want to do just do you so i'm just going to use this you know you can actually add any other thing you want maybe um maybe like um what's it called um maybe a little bit of glare you know just whatever you want just just play around okay play around with it till you get it to actually what you want so i'm just going to leave it like this okay so now i will save this save this as png and that's it okay now that you save this let's move on to part two of this editing and part two has to do with where we start adding the pictures so now you click on the tree bar on the bottom left side and it's going to show you this add item add image just click on add image and it's going to take you back to your gallery so go to that picture that we edited the first time which is this one and you just click done and then this is it you've imported it just move it to wherever you want if you want it to be in the center if you want it to be on the top anywhere wherever you want it to be, just put it and then increase the size so what i'll just do is i'll increase the size i'm not going to do exactly what i did for my own intro but i'm just showing you how i got it you can do whatever you want honestly it doesn't really matter just do anything you want you can make it bigger however you want it to be so let's just i think i should just leave it like this all right so now that i have this i'm going to save it okay save it don't add all the pictures at the same time save as you go once you add once and save it i'm going to explain to you in the end why it is like that so the next thing is add more images so you go and import the second image that you want to use so i already have this image that i used so i take that and i increase the size however you want it to be just do it position it where you want it to be okay and save it okay 
then add the next image <laughs> that's just what you need to keep doing the third image that i used is this one so add it bring it here i made this one a little bit faint so that it just looks like you know i don't know that illusion or something like the picture is not there but it's there kind of so you can actually make it small you can make it big whichever size you want just do you like i said okay Not going to be exactly like my intro like i said but you can do this anyhow i'm just showing you this is just to show you give you an idea of what to do i'm not really saying that this is how it should look like but you can do anything you want i'm just showing you how to do it so now that i've pasted that there i'll save it as as usual so after saving this we are done with fonto so let's move out of fonto so now that we are done with Fonto, the next app that we'll be going to is this beautiful app here which is called Glitchy. <laughs> so when you come to Glitchy, you click on the gallery sign where your pictures are or your folders. So you go to the recent pictures, the ones that we just did right now. So the first one I want to be working with is the one that has just the channel name on it. So make sure it is 16 by nine and then good export it creating a video so now let's add our glitch there are so many kinds of glitch that you can add here you can use this one if you want it to be like this if you want your video to start like this fine anything you want actually you can do you can play around with it add things whatever you want okay so for mine i'm going to show you what i did for mine so for mine i kind of like used the which one did i even use in my own mm -hmm. i used at 11 so that's the one i used so you just save it just save it straight up <laughs> no need create a video and while we're waiting so make sure it's if you like this very particular one i use it's at 11 and then you need to save it as a video so once you've saved this, I won't be saving mine actually, but this is just how to save it. Save it as a video because I already have this. So this is what you're going to do. So we go back, okay, and do the second picture. So we import the second picture that we did, which is this one. So for this one, I did the, I used bits for it. I'm so sure I used bits. So this is how, save it and once you're done with this just save it but i won't save it because i already have this so once you're done with that you go back again import the third picture that we did which is this one that have all three no which one this one the one that has the two yeah these two you do the same process again and add whatever you want whatever glitch you want anything you want you can do anything actually you want I guess this is really like self-explanatory once you're done with that you save it okay but then i'm going to show you guys how i added all the other extra extra like clip and acts and stickers in it once you're done with this one you save it okay so basically what i did was in the third picture which is this final one because this is where i actually wanted the ads and everything to end so i just kind of like started playing around with it so what I did was I just kind of like added a little bit like a bit or something anything you want like I said I'm not just I'm not going to do exactly what I did for my own intro but you can do whatever you want I went to stickers and then I looked at all the stickers here and I just kind of like picked whatever I wanted like in my own you could see in some places I had a palm tree just reduce the size a bit you know I had a palm tree you place it where you want it to be and then just go around and look for anything whatever you want and I also had the money sign here okay I had the money sign so I'm going to show you how this money sign in my own was moving around so you know I had the money sign here so I placed this money sign here first and then let me finish adding the other things that I had in mind too so i also know that i i had the shoe i had the heels the heel 
kind of like somewhere here I had the heel like down below here kind of like this something like that I guess something like this I had the heel something like around this part here and then okay okay like let me just leave it like that you know so this is what i did eh? and then i also had shopping bags so this is what i did with the shopping bags i added the shopping bags i reduced the size of this shopping bag like i made it smaller and i placed it down below my feet here and then i added the shopping bag again and this time around i made it bigger than the other one so that it looks like as if you know i went shopping and you know i bought a lot of things so or something like that just like a shopping spree kind of logo i don't know i just i don't know the idea i was actually going for but this is just how you do it you know but this okay so this is it so once i did this what i did next was i added crown to my head made it small added it positioned it to my head just you know just make it fancy you can add any other thing you want whatever you want just do you it doesn't really matter so what i did is you know i had this i have this money sign now here on this part of the screen so what i'll do is i'll save it okay i will just save this picture now i'll create a video with this and i'll save it okay i'll save this one but you know of course i'm not going to save it because of i already have this then i'll go back again then i'll go back again I will now add more money sign, another money sign or something. I will now add this money sign again down here. I'm going to add it somewhere here now. Okay. Once I've added it here now, I'll save it. I'll just go here and create a video and save it. Okay. Then I'll go back again. I'll take this money sign that I put here and move it to this side and take this one that I put here and move it to this side and go back and do what? Save it. So this is how you just move it around the screen so that when you're compiling it, it looks like as if the money is moving around. Do you understand? I know you understand. Okay, now let's proceed to the next part of this video because I guess we are done now. So this is how it is. If you like how it is, we can proceed. All right. Okay, so now that we are done with glitchy and we already have all the glitches that we want on our pictures or videos or whatever, now we're going to go into Velo. So the third app that we'll be needing for this procedure is Velo. So here in Velo, we are going to start importing our videos and start making them look like how we want them to look like, you know, start slicing them up and positioning them. So we're going to start with the first one, which is the channel name. That's the first video that I made. So I'm going to import that. Next is the one with the one picture, one with two pictures, the one with um, three pictures and some money sign and this one and this is all we're going to work with right now. Maybe I should import some more. Okay, and this one. Okay, that's it because I showed you guys how to do this already. So now I'm just going to stop doing what I need to do. So now I'm just going to work it or rather play it and this is where i want it to stop and i'll slice it and then i'll crop this crop this down to maybe any part i like no i don't like all this maybe any part i like and make sure that i keep this under one second or anything lower than one second even so this is it so this is this one slice it and um, once I've sliced this one up. so as you're doing this always make sure you play it to see how it looks and then once I sliced it I'll just delete this one and then the next part is where this one just comes in so play it and see how it comes in before you slice slice and then I delete <laughs> that's just how I do it and then 
this one comes in. I slice. Okay, I delete. Okay, you see the money is moving. That's change position. Slice it and delete the rest. And now the money has changed position again. Slice it and delete the rest. And then you see, keeps changing. Things keep adding. Slice and delete. And always keep your intro very short and simple guys nobody wants to watch you doing all your plenty plenty intro before the video just make it very short honestly if you leave me leave your intro under 10 seconds do a little bit of advert and that's it honestly long intros don't help anybody especially if you're a young or a sorry a new youtuber or a growing youtuber nobody actually wants to see your youtube your intro just keep it very short and straight to the point all right so now that we have this let's play it and see how it is And you can speed it up if you want, but I don't think there's any mm. need. Play it again. Perfect. This is just what I want my intro to look like. But in my own, in the end, I added one more video, which is this one where I have two pictures. I added this one in the end. Okay, I added this one here just to close out because that's where i'm going to put like the whole subscribe to my channel and you know which is something that you do when you already upload your video on on, on youtube but that's that's true that's besides the point so now that we have that we play everything all together be sure you like what you have here and you see the money is moving around and now this is it because in this last page this is where i'll just put subscribe the subscribe um green screen down below but that's a different video if you don't know how to do that maybe let me know in my session maybe i can do a video on how to import green screen to your intros when your video when you're uploading your video on youtube okay so now that we have that that's easy as easy as possible this is just how it is and i always like tell people not to pull music on their intros you know the way it is now i don't want to add any music because i just feel like I can change my music for any kind of video that I want to make. Maybe the video I'm trying to upload today might be a kind of like a cool kind of video. I don't really want something really, really loud. So my music or the mood of my intro might change as the day goes by. I don't like to put, but if you want to put music in this app, just go through this audio sign here. Click on background music. There's a bunch of background music here you can use. Okay. There's so much different types. Just import anyone you want, but I'm not going to import anything and just come here and save it. So here in saving is also important. Make sure your resolution is always high. And me, I always like to save my video as 30 frames per second. Okay. So uh, at 60 frames per second, sorry. So here you just change it to 60 frames and you export. But because I already have this video, I don't think I need to. I need it anymore but for the sake of this video i'm just going to export it and that's how you get your intro guys i hope this video was really helpful to you guys if you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section just try it and um, you know maybe let me know and this is our final product that we are working with this is your intro guys very easy very simple there's nothing complicated about it it's just very very simple okay thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like i said don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up also comment in the comment section let me know what you think of it let me know if you did it if you were able to like follow my steps or if i was helpful to you in any way and also guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's really really important to me